Good day. Welcome, my dear students, to the seventh lecture of trial version. In the last lecture, uh, we discussed about strain. So now you know what is strain. So strain is nothing but it is the measure of trial version. And then we develop a relationship between strain and displacement. And then we define what is strain at trial version. Then we develop uh, the strain tensors. Uh, there are nine components in the strain tensor matrix. Trial version. Uh, in plain stress, plain strain conditions, there are four components in the strain matrix. Trial version. In this lecture, we will discuss about principal stress. In the last lectures, we discuss what is trial version at a point. So you know uh, the stress at a point is not only depend upon the direction but also it depend upon the trial uh, version uh, passing through that point. So you know uh, for a particular point there are infinite number of planes trial that version that point. Using Cauchy's formula we can determine the stress on an arbitrary plane if we know trial the version on these three mutually perpendicular planes. And out of this infinite number of planes, there Trial is a version. plane where the normal stress is maximum. The normal stress is maximum. Or we can say Trial there is version. a plane where shear stress is equal to zero. And that plane is called principal plane. And the normal Trial stress version. on that plane is called principal stress. So, for example, consider this block. In this block, trial version. Uh, this is an arbitrary plane that is at an angle uh, theta with this uh, horizontal plane. And trial version. In the same way, we can find different planes with the different angles. So, all these things are different. Trial planes. version. Maybe this is a uh, another plane. This may be another plane. This may be another plane. So, in each plane, the normal stress Trial version. are different. We can calculate the normal stress using Cauchy's formula. Uh, if we know the um, stress values on three mutually perpendicular planes, that is Trial sigma, version. sigma y and sigma z, and all the shear stress values. If we know all these nine components, then using these nine Trial components, version. we can calculate the, uh, calculate the resultant stress as well as the normal and the shear stress on this arbitrary. Trial version. Okay, by changing the angle, we can determine the normal stress and shear stress on any other plane. Okay, Trial here, version. Uh, on this point, we can uh, we can find infinite number of planes. On this infinite number of planes, we can calculate. Trial infinite, version. We can uh, identify infinite number of resultant stress. We can resolve this infinite number of resultant stress into trial version stress and shear stress. So out of this infinite number of planes, there is a one plane where the normal stress trial is trial version. And where on that plane the shear stress will be zero. And that plane is called principal plane and the trial version stress is called principal stress. So this is our plane. For example, this is our plane. Okay, in this plane, trial uh, version. We already develop an equation, Cauchy's formula for finding the resultant stress, sigma r. Sigma trial r. version. We can resolve this into two components. First one is a normal stress. This is a normal stress, sigma. Trial version. N. And this is the shear stress or tangential stress. That is tau. Okay, this is an R. Trial version. So we develop the equation for that. Um, Cauchy's formula. So this is the Cauchy's formula matrix. Trial version. Matrix of Cauchy's formula. Okay. And same way we can resolve this resultant stress into. Uh, Trial version. Resultant stress can be. Resolve into three components in x and x, y is a direction. For example, this is the 
component in X trial version that is sigma rx this is the stress component in y direction sigma ry and this is the stress component in trial Z version sigma r z so this is the resultant stress components in x y and z direction trial version so the corresponding formula is, is this is the cauchy's formula and we can define uh, or we can calculate these uh, components of the resultant stress trial version in terms of the stress values on a three mutually perpendicular planes and the direction cosine trial version okay so we already discussed about this and same way um, using the same resultant values using this formula, trial version using this formula we can calculate we can calculate the normal stress vr so this is vr trial stress. version same way the tangential stress tau r also can be calculated on a arbitrary plane so this is trial version equation. we can apply this equation for any plane by changing the direction cosines nx ny nz trial version for this plane the direction or say may be nx ny nz for another plane this value trial is version nx ny nz value will change so by varying this nx ny nz we can calculate this resultant trial stress version as well as normal and uh, uh, tangential stress on any plane there are infinite number of planes on any plane trial version in this three direction cosines we can calculate this uh, resolved components and thereby we can calculate the resultant stress trial version as, well as this normal and uh, shear stress okay so that is the uh, application of cosine trial formula. version and out of this infinite number of planes so this is an uh, one plane we can plot same plane another plane trial this version is plane. this is another plane this one is another plane so there are infinite number of planes passing through that point and for trial this version plane, there will be a normal stress for this plane this is a normal stress and for this plane this may be the normal stress and for this plane this may trial be the version normal stress so the normal stress value will vary with respect to the position of the plane that is why the stress is trial version stress tensor is dependent upon the orientation of the plane so out of this infinite number of planes there is a one trial version where the normal stress is maximum or the shear stress value is zero and that plane is called principal plane trial version principal plane so what are the trial version on the principal plane the normal stress will be maximum or it may be minimum also there are trial version principal plane in three dimension one plane with the maximum normal stress value that is called major principal plane trial one version plane with the minimum normal stress value that is called minor principal plane and the second largest uh, sigma n second largest trial version sigma n also will be for a particular plane normal stress uh, second largest normal stress for a trial so version there, are, there will be three plane and out of this the plane with the maximum normal stress is called major principal plane this is called minor principal plane trial so version in this infinite number of planes there is a plane with the maximum normal stress where shear stress value will be trial version shear stress value will be zero and another plane which is called minimum um uh, sorry ma minor principal plane trial version there also the shear stress value equal to zero okay so we can say the plane on which trial version the stress vector is wholly normal are called principal plane and the corresponding stress is called principal stress so the corresponding normal trial stress version is called principal stress corresponding normal stress acting on a principal trial plane, version principal stress 
and corresponding uh, shear stress is equal to zero. Trial version. Shear stress is equal to zero. So the Cauchy's formula can be applied for any arbitrary plane. So same way we can apply Trial the version. formula for finding the principal stress also. Because using Cauchy's formula we can calculate the normal stress on, on any plane. And the principal Trial plane version. is a plane on the on a set of these uh, planes passing through that point. So we can use Cauchy's formula to calculate the Trial version. principal stress also. So next we are going to calculate the principal stress. So let the dash and cosines we don't know the dash and trial version principal plane so uh, let we can give three values for the dash and cosines that are nx n nx trial version formally we give nx ny n in a set but this is the dash and cosine for a principal plane so that is why i give a trial version subscript ny n a set n n a set these are the dash and cosines for the principal plane. trial version okay so we are going to calculate the principal stress which is on a principal plane and the dash and cosines of this principal plane is nnx and N, 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 trial N, version okay and so on a principal plane so this is our principal plane in this principal plane the resultant stress will be trial version stress. sigma r will be sigma r will be sigma n because there is no shear component trial version shear component is zero in a principal plane so all the resultant stress will be a normal stress trial version okay so this is the uh, dash no resultant stress as well as the normal stress also so we can write sigma trial version sigma n for a principal Sigma R is called resultant stress. Sigma N is called trial stress. version. Next, I am going to so trial version. Sigma R is equal to sigma N. Next, I am going to resolve this sigma R or sigma trial N. version. Sigma R or sigma N into three components one is along the x trial direction. version i am giving sigma r sorry sigma nx nx because this is a principal stress so trial sigma version NX. in the y direction i am giving sigma ny is a direction sigma n is a so i resolve trial this version normal component or the resultant stress or normal stress Acting on this principal plane into three components. One trial is version. Answer, other along y and z. And we can express this uh, sigma n x, sigma n y, and sigma n z in terms of dash. Trial process. version. So sigma n is equal to sigma n into n n x. N n x is the dash of the trial plane. version. Principal plane. So sigma n into n n x. So we already discussed all these things in the uh, last lectures. So trial version. My n y equal to sigma n into n n y. Sigma n is equal to sigma n. Trial version. N n is it? Okay. <clears throat> trial version. Then we can apply the Cauchy's formula. Cauchy's formula can be applied for finding the principal stress so we know what trial is version formula. so this is the Cauchy's formula to calculate the um, resolved component of resultant in trial version this is the Cauchy's formula so same formula can be applied here so here what is the result in the um, X trial version component? that is sigma nx so here in this we give sigma nx trial version sigma nx equal to then sigma x into here and in, instead of nx we give n trial NX version because of the diagonal zones of principal plane plus tau yx n and y 
Trial version. Dou is the X. N. N is the top. Similarly, the next equation, Cauchy's equation. Trial version. The sigma R Y next to your model. Here, instead of sigma R Y, we can give sigma N Y. Trial version. Okay. And here, sigma N S. And here, instead of this dash and cosine, we give sigma N Y, sigma N X. Trial version. <coughs> so, sigma N Y equal to sigma Y. Trial version. N N Y plus dou x y n n x plus dou is the y n n is it trial so version n is equal to sigma is it n n is it plus dou x is it n n x plus dou y is it trial version n n y so this is the Cauchy's formula so we applied Cauchy formula here in this but here trial version for the previous arbitrary plane, here R sigma R X sigma R Y sigma R S is the left hand side. But Trial here, version. Sigma R and sigma N are equal because on a, a principal plane, the resultant stress will be enormous stress because there is no. Trial version. Stress. So we can um, resolve this sigma N into three components, and these are the three components in the left hand side. Trial version. And the right hand side is same. But the dash and cosines will be the dash and cosine of this principal plane. So that is the difference. Trial version. We can see, see the left right left hand side of these two equations. This set of equations and this set of equations are same. Trial version. So we can combine these two equations. So the right right hand side can be combined. That means sigma n into n n next. Trial version. Two. Sigma x n n x plus tau y x n n y plus tau is z x n n z. Trial version. This right hand side under this right hand side. Similarly, sigma n n n y equal to sigma y n trial y version plus tau x y n n y x plus tau z y n n z. Sigma n trial version. Uh, n n is it equal to sigma is it n n is it plus tau x y x is it trial version n n x plus tau y is it n n y so we got this equation by combining trial version two equations so in this equation what are the unknowns so we can um, um, trial version the this left hand time to the right side so here n n x here also n n x so we can combine this equation that is sigma trial x. version sigma x minus sigma n into n n x trial version here both n n x so sigma x minus sigma n plus the remaining times n n y trial version zero zx n n z equal to zero similarly sigma y sigma n n n y trial version plus tau x y n n x plus tau z y n n z equal to zero trial version minus sigma n n n z plus tau z sorry x z n n x plus trial version and then y equal to 0. So we got this equation. In this equation, what trial are the unknowns? versions. Unknowns are we know the nine stress components. That is the stress components in the stress tensors. Trial the version. Nine components is non value. Sigma x, sigma y, sigma z, and all these uh, shear times, shear stress times are non values. Because this is the trial uh, version. Stress values, stress components on a three mutually perpendicular planes. That is a known value. What are the other unknown values? Sigma n. Trial version. Is an unknown value. In this three equation. Then nnx is an unknown value. Nny is an unknown value. Nn is a Trial version. Because we don't know the position of the principal plane. 
If we know the principal plane position, we can calculate these three values. The direction cosines. Trial we version. Don't know the position of the principal plane. Trial version. Position of the principal plane. So these are the four unknown values in this equation. And out of this, this is the trial version. Stress. Principal stress and these three are the direction cosine. Trial version. Direction cosines. So we can write this in a matrix form. So next I am going to trial version. In a matrix form. Trial version. So in matrix form, we can write sigma x minus sigma trial version. Sigma y minus sigma n. Sigma z minus sigma n. These are the diagonal times. Um, trial diagonal version. This will be a, will be a normal stress value. Then here it is tau x y x. Tau trial version. Z x. Tau x y. Z y, x is set, y is set. Trial version. Into the dash of cosine times n n x, n n y, n n is set equal to zero. Trial version. So we write this equation in a matrix form. And in this matrix, we have four unknowns. Trial four version. Unknowns. Now our aim is to calculate sigma n and n and these three direction cosine. Sigma n is the principal stress. By Trial version. N, we can calculate direction uh, sorry principal stress. And by knowing these three value, direction cosines, we can identify the Trial position version. of the principal plane. We don't know the position of principal plane because there are infinite number of planes passing through a point, and out of this infinite number of planes. Trial version. The position of the principal plane. So by knowing these three dash and cosines, only we can identify or the we can identify the position Trial of Trial version. The principal plane. So we came to this equation matrix. And in this matrix you can see Trial version. Two times equal to zero. So if the right hand side is equal to zero, either this term or this term should be zero. Trial version. But the dash and cosines column will not be zero value because there will be a dash and cosine for a particular plane. So this dash and cosine trial version will be a zero value. So what can we conclude? This term, this matrix will be a zero value. So we can avoid this. This will be a trial version. This will be a zero. Okay, this matrix will be a zero. So or <coughs> the determinant trial of version. this matrix will be a zero. Determinant of this matrix will be a zero. Then we can expand to find the determinant. Trial version. Expand this. You know how to find a three by three matrix determinant. So sigma n cube minus sigma n trial plus version. Sigma y plus sigma z into sigma n square plus Sigma X Sigma Y Trial version plus Sigma Y Sigma Z plus Sigma Z Sigma X minus um, Trial version Tau X Y square minus Tau Y Z square plus Tau Z X square Trial version Sigma N minus Sigma X Sigma y, sigma z. Trial version. Sigma z. Minus. It's a whole bracket. Minus. Sigma x, sigma z. Trial version. Minus. Sigma x, tau y z square. Minus. Sigma y, tau z x square. Minus. Sigma z. Trial version. x y square. Plus. 2 tau x y. Trial Z, version. Tau y z, tau z x equal to 
zero. That is the expansion of this determinant matrix of matrix. Determinant. Trial version. So this is our equation. And in this equation, so trial version. Unknown here in this equation. There is only one unknown. That is sigma. N. Sigma n is the only one unknown because the remaining three unknowns are trial version. Cancel here. Okay, the only one unknown is sigma n. So we can reduce this equation into another form. Trial version. N cube minus i one sigma n square plus i trial version square minus i cube uh, sorry i three equal to zero trial version. <clears throat> so in this equation sigma n cube uh, this is sigma n cube uh, and this step sigma x uh, trial plus version sigma y plus sigma z uh, is represented as i one. And this one, sigma, this term, trial version. This terms represent as i two. This is i two. And this trial terms, version. This is the constant. Is represent as i three. So we reduce uh, this into trial version. This equation. And where i one, i two. I three are called stress invariants. This is called trial version. And this equation is known as characteristic equation of principal stress. This equation is called this cubical equation is called characteristic equation trial of version. principal stress. And what, how many number of um, rules for this cubical equation? There will be three trial rules for version. this cubical equation. Okay, so after solving this equation, this cubical equation, we will get three roots. Trial version. Sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3. Okay, so um, while taking Trial this version. cubical equation, so there will be three roots for this cubical equation. That is sigma 1, sigma 2, and sigma 3. And this sigma trial 1, version. sigma 2, sigma 3 are the principal stresses principal stresses and <coughs> this principal trial version on three planes so one plane maybe this is the one plane sigma one is acting that is the normal stress and the shear stress on the plane trial version maybe this is sigma one is the major principal stress major principal stress that is the maximum stress acting on a maximum normal trial stress version on that point Maximum normal stress acting on that point will be sigma 1. Where shear stress trial works. version. And there is another plane. There is another plane that is at a dis, um, at an angle 90. Trial version. To this plane. This is all, this is the principal plane, and this one is also a principal plane where sigma 3 is acting. Trial sigma version. Here also, shear stress will be zero. Okay, so trial this is the version. Major plane where the maximum normal stress is acting. This is the minor principal plane where minimum normal stress is acting. So in trial this plane, version. Normal stress is minimum. And there are one more plane. There is a one more plane. That is trial also version. Ninety degree with the two planes. It's so actually in the third direction. Okay, one more plane with a 90 degree with a, uh, this trial version. And where sigma 2 is acting, and sigma 2 is the second largest maximum normal stress on that point. So trial these are version. Three principal stresses, and uh, um, these three principal stresses are acting on principal planes. And this equation trial is version. Character situation of principal play. Trial version. Next, uh, similar, if we uh, based on this, and sigma one, sigma two, sigma three. Trial points, version. We can also calculate this um, 
Maxima shear stress also. So there will be another plane. There will be another trial plane version. Where shear stress will be maximum. Shear stress. Sorry. There will be another plane where shear stress will be trial maximum. version. Okay. But the plane which contain maximum shear stress. Trial version. There will be a normal stress. There will be a normal stress. Okay. So there will be plane which trial version. Maximum shear stress. But on that plane there will be a normal stress. The normal stress will not be zero. But here on trial a version. Plane, the normal stress is maximum, but shear stress is zero. But here on the plane of maximum shear stress trial version shear stress is maximum but normal stress will not be zero so the normal stress sigma n will not be zero and trial version the value of the maximum shear stress can be expressed the maximum can be expressed in terms of this principal stress that is equal to sigma trial version minus sigma 3 by 2 sigma 1 minus Sigma 3 by 2. That is maximum principal stress minus minimum st principal stress divided Trial by version. the shear stress value. Okay, and, and there is also a relationship between uh, the plane Trial containing version. maximum shear stress and the plane containing minimum, sorry, plane of principal, principal plane. Trial version. And that plane at an angle 45 degree with the principal plane. The plane of trial version will be 45 degree apart from the principal plane. Okay, so this angle will be 45 degree. Trial version. And both the principal planes are mutually perpendicular. Both the principal planes are mutually trial perpendicular. version. And uh, the angle between the principal plane and the plane, con plane of maximum or minimum shear stress will be trial version 45 from the principal plane. So that is the position of two trial version planes. <coughs> trial version. Next year. Uh, we will discuss about this invariant sigma 1 sigma 2 sorry i1 i2 i3 these are called invariants trial so version two equation by comparing this equation and this equation we can identify what are the invariants so i1 equal to i1 equal to what is the this trial is version because the coefficient along with the sigma n square is the i1 so here the coefficient along, along with the sigma trial version will be sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z. Okay, so I1 will be sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z. Trial version. Let I2 equal to the coefficient along with this sigma n square. That is uh, trial version. So this is not n square, this is sigma n. Sorry, this is sigma n. So this is the coefficient trial version. Okay, so we can write sigma two is equal to sigma x sigma y plus sigma y sigma z trial version z sigma x minus tau x y square minus tau y z square minus tau x trial version. Trial version. So x x square i two is equal to this one is tau is trial x version. So x square. And similarly i three, the coefficient along with the the, the constant the constant coefficients. So the trial the version. The constant coefficients the entire thing. This much is the constant coefficient. So we can write i three equal to Sigma x, sigma trial y, version z minus sigma x tau y z square minus sigma y tau z x square minus sigma z tau trial z version square minus 
Sigma. Uh, do trial version. So y set of zx. So this is these are the stress invariants. Trial version. I one, I two, I three. And from this we we know this we can see this terms of I one. Trial I2, version. I3. All the terms are uh, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z or tau x, y something. So all the nine components of stress tensors Trial are version. in this stress invariance. So we can say this is unchangeable in nature. This Trial I2, version. I2, I3 are unchangeable. That is why it is called stress invariant. It will not vary. Okay. So it is unchangeable. We because trial version containing all the only contain the nine tens of stress tensors there is no diagonal cosines or any other uh, parameter in the trial version invariance so if we change for a particular point we change the axis okay for trial version point, for example uh, for this point initially these are the axis and if we change the axis from here to Another one. for trial example, version one is the one 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 is the axis. I change the axis into another three mutually perpendicular axis passing through that same trial point. version that is two 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 another axis three mutually perpendicular axis. So if you change the axis, then the I one I two I three value trial version there will not be change for I one I two I three value. Because the principal stresses at that particular point will remains unchanged. Trial version. Because if we change the value, if we change the value of I1 um, um, axis, diagonal of axis or orientation. Trial axis, version. The principal stress on this point will not change because there is only one principal stress value for a particular point. Okay. By changing trial the version. Position of this axis or the orientation of the axis. The principal stress values will not be vary, or we can say the stress variant will not be trial version vary. because here in this we can see the only factor which affecting the sigma n is stress variant trial version. So how can we change this stress variant by changing the point? If we change the point from here to here, the stress variant will be vary at the same time the trial stress version stress value also will vary. But for a particular point. If we change the orientation of the axis, the stress variant will not be vary. Trial version. Okay, so that is the main characteristics of this stress invariant. So that is about principle trial version. The principal stress. And the, this is the conclusion. Uh, for a particular point, if you take a, any point. Trial version. There are infinite number of planes can be um, drawn on that point. There are infinite number of planes. Trial version. Point. And each vector, sorry, stress value is dependent upon the position or orientation of the plane. Trial version. Stress is a tensor quantity. It's dependent upon the magnitude, vector direction, as well as the orientation of the plane. So in each plane. Trial version. The, uh, stress has different values so out of this infinite number of stress values there is trial a version or there is a stress value which is maximum in normal normal direction okay there will trial be a version maximum stress value and that maximum normal stress value is called principal stress trial version and the plane which containing this maximum normal stress value is called principal plane. And, and trial version. Important characteristics of this principal plane is that on that plane the shear stress value will be zero. And for a trial uh, version. For this point, there, there are three principal stress values. One is maximum major principal stress, sigma one. And the second one is minimum trial version sigma two, and third one is sorry um, sigma three is the minimum principal stress, 
and third one is sigma 2 that is the second largest trial stroke, version uh, maximum normal stress or principal stress so there are three principal stress and each principal stress is contained on three mutually perpendicular trial version principal plane three mutually perpendicular principal plane and there is another plane on that plane the shear stress trial version on principal plane normal stress is maximum but in in this plane shear stress is maximum that is at an angle 45 degree from trial the version principal plane and the value of the principal uh, maximum shear stress is equal to uh, sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 sigma trial version sigma 3 by 2 maximum principal stress minus minimum stress principal stress by 2 that is the maximum shear stress trial version and in uh, while calculating the uh, so uh, principal stress from the Cauchy's formula finally we come to this equation trial version that equation the only unknown value is sigma n all the other tens are the components of the stress tensor sigma trial sigma version y sigma z and tau x y tau uh, x z tau y z all these terms are uh, the components of the stress tensor okay these are the trial version on a three mutually perpendicular planes so based uh, using that values stress components we can calculate the sigma n. trial version sigma n value can be calculated and um, we finally after derivation we come to this uh, cubical equation if we take the root trial of version this cubical equation we got these three principal stress values and in this equation the all the coefficient in, uh, along with this sigma n is called trial version variant so this is i1 this is i2 this is i3 that is called stress invariant i1 i2 i3 trial version okay so this is about principal stress and based on this principal stress we can design a structure member okay the trial the version theory is called the theory of failure principal stress theory of failure rankin formula principal stress theory of failure so trial version F, F material or a body will fail at a particular point for example take this body take this trial body. version and on this point when I apply some some load on this body some load on this body based trial on version the theory of principal stress failure the body will fail on this point on this point trial version when the principal stress developed on this body due to this external forces trial version external forces the principal stress de develop on this point if it is greater than that of the permeable trial version principal stress value of the material of this body then the body will fail at that point fail at that point trial so, version theory of failure based on the maximum principal stress okay so we will um, discuss trial version of failure in the last module and for that we use this principal stress value so we have to find this principal stress value at a particular point whether we need trial to, version whether we need to know about where uh, that material will fail at that point or not so we can design a body trial so version if we know this value of principal stress we can design this body against the uh, failure by normal stress okay trial version so, next uh, we will discuss one problem based on the stress and uh, trial version principal stress first uh, we will discuss a problem based on the average uh, stress the two plates are connected together by 20 trial version diameter bolt so here we have two um, you can see these are the two plates two plates trial version the two plates is connected with the 20 mm two 20 mm bolt so this is the front view and this one is the top view so there are two bolts used trial to version these two plates and 50 kN load is acting intensity load acting on this composite structure trial version okay 
and thickness of the plate is given that is 10 mm and uh, it is subjected to tensile force of 50 kN. Trial version. First calculation is uh, calculate the average normal stress at the section where there is no hole. Okay, here we can use this section for example. Trial version. Section. Here there is no hole. This is the only region where um, we can see the hole. So in this region we cannot see any hole. So what is trial version here? That is the first question. And width of the plate also given that is equal to 20 mm. So if we cut the session and this is the cross section trial version point. So 200 into 10. 10 is the thickness of the plate. So 200 into 10 is the cross section at that trial version session. Okay, A A. And here 50 kN is acting. So we know what is uh, when when 50 trial kN version externally at the cross section. How much amount of resistance internal resistance offered by the body for the equilibrium trial condition. version? If the external force is 50, then the resistance or uh, internal resistance also will be 50. So sigma average average stress is equal to the trial version resistance offered by the body against unit cross section. So R by cross section area. So but for the equilibrium external load and the trial version resistance will be equal so this will be 50 so r is equal to 50 into 10 raised to 3 it is in kilonewton converted into newton divided by cross section is 200 into trial version 200 into 10 mm square so after dividing we got 25 newton per mm square we can convert this into trial uh, version meter to convert this mm into meter here mm is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 10 raised to minus 3 meter but here trial version square, so 10 raised to minus 3 whole square that is equal to 10 raised to minus 6 when it come to numerator it is equal to 10 raised to 6 okay so 25 newton trial per version is equal to 25 into 10 raised to 6 newton per meter square and 1 newton per meter square is equal to 1 pascal so 25 into 10 raised to 6 pascal or we can write 20 trial version mega pascal because 10 raised to 6 pascal is equal to mega pascal Next question is calculate the average shear stress in the bolt. Trial version. Calculate the average shear stress in the bolt. Okay, so here in this bolt, where is the trial version? Plane where uh, which resists the shear force. So this is the area where or the bolt trial is version. resisting the shear force. Right. Here, if you take the cross section of the bolt. This is the there are two trial bolts, version one behind this bolt and here a shear stress of 50 kN is acting and on the same plane trial version kN is acting tangentially okay so this is the resisting cross -section. in between there will be a resisting cross section trial version shear force okay so tau average is equal to the resistance is against 50 kN external load so 50 <coughs> this will be trial version 50 divided by there are two resisting cross section this is for first ball trial version behind this ball there is another bolt so there are two resisting cross sections for the shear force of 50 so 2 into trial version pi by 4 d square that is the cross section of the bolt so 2 into pi by 4 20 square we got 25 divided by pi newton per mm square trial version and third question is average bearing stress between the bolt and the plate average bearing stress so what happened to this body trial version when it is subject to tensile force when it is subjected to tensile force this is the two holes trial ball. version so when the bolt Actually, here in this two hole. Okay. So Trial when version. Pulling force P is acting in this direction. P is acting in this direction. What happened? The bolt actually displaced from. Trial version. Actually, initially, the hole surface of the bolt in is in contact with this hole surface, and the bolt surface in contact with the hole surface initially. Trial version. But when force P is acting. The bolt surface 
in this side and the whole surface in this side trial version only come in contact okay so this side will be free from contact you can see when a, uh, this is a hole trial version uh, this is my ball initially the entire surface is in contact but when pulling force come into action the bolt will shift from here trial to here. version and this a force will be exerted between the surface of the the left surface of the bolt and uh, the inside surface trial of the, version this inside surface of the hole okay there will be a crushing force between this two surface so this surface of the bolt trial version hole, this surface of the hole and uh, this surface of the bolt this surface of the bolt come in trial contact. version okay that stress the stress on that area this two area is called bearing stress that is trial version stress. and that bearing stress how can we calculate this bearing stress that is equal to force divided by trial version contact, contact area contact area or the projected area of the this area the projected area trial version this projected area that is equal to 2 into uh, so projected area is equal to d into t for two bolt it will be trial version okay the projected area of a cylinder will be that is equal to 2 into uh, sorry uh, d into t so trial version it will be 2 into d into t so that is equal to 125 mega pascal so that is the is one problem based on your trial version average stress uh, second problem is calculate the state of stress at a point given as tij is equal to trial so version this is the stress stress tensor okay for a particular point for example on this point we have three mutually perpendicular planes on trial version mutually perpendicular planes sigma x sigma y sigma z tau x y tau y uh, x z all the stress terms nine stress terms are given here trial so version nine stress terms okay this are the nine stress terms and in this trial version point so this is the um, stress components on the three mutually perpendicular planes the question is calculate the stress and variance and the principal stress trial version and on this plane there will be a plane so this is the uh, one plane where the normal stress is maximum sigma n is maximum trial that version is called principal plane and corresponding stress is called principal stress so next we are going to calculate this principal stress using this information using trial version okay so from this matrix we already uh, studied about stress tensor the diagonal tensor trial sigma version n, sigma y sigma x sigma y sigma z so we can uh, directly write this three times then tau x by tau x is the y is the, the remaining terms so we can identify this terms from the matrix and we know the equation of the trial version variance sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z and so second stress invariant can be also written in the matrix form second and trial term. version so here in this here in this actually the stress invariant is written in a in this format but it can trial also version. can be written in a matrix format okay so this is the matrix format for uh, stress invariant so this is actually a stress tensor trial See, version i3 i3 will be a stress tensor and this is a second order matrix derived from this third order matrix that means the trial version first half is trial version the first half is this one this much that is the first half first one first day and second day trial version one. second day and third time is this one this one this trial one, version this one that is the third day in the reverse order okay so this is the 
matrix trial version stress invariant matrix so we already know this values sigma x sigma y tau x y values substitute all these values here we can find the stress trial version from this here it is minus uh, 5 plus 2 minus 3 this is minus 3 okay and this is minus 10 trial version this is minus 6 and from after uh, calculating the stress invariance um, we know the equation of trial version uh, cubical equation to find the principal stress cubical equation to find the principal stress we already discussed about that uh, sigma n cube plus i trial version n square minus uh, i2 sigma n plus i3 equal to 0 so substitute the stress invariant times here and here trial this version is the cubical equation using calculator we can calculate the uh, roots of this equation you know how to calculate the roots of this equation so in this trial version select the mod and uh, select 5 here it is a cubical equation so select 4 for trial version uh, cubical equation so select 4 the a time containing 1 so 1 equal to trial Second version time three three equal to third time containing minus 10 minus 10 equal to trial version six constant equal to so these are the roots minus five point trial version two minus five point one six and one point one six one trial version These are the three rows okay so one minus five point one six minus trial 5 version one six is nothing but that is equal to minus two plus root ten minus two plus root ten trial version That is minus 2 plus root 10. Trial version. 1, 6, minus 2 minus root 10 equal to 5.16. So these are the three roots. Out of this. Trial version. We can write instead of this minus 5.16 and uh, 1.16. Trial version. 1.16. So this will be 1.16 is the major principle trial stress. version. This is the minor principle stress, and one is the second largest normal stress. So these are the uh, trial version uh, principal stress values. So this is about uh, trial stress. version. So do some problems. Uh, trial version. Stress. It may ask in your question. Your exams. Okay. That is about today's session. Thank you. Trial version.